Hi, this is Chris Meyer's Cybermotion, and I want to talk a little bit about using the After Effects Glow plugin. Now, there's several ways of creating hot glowing looks inside After Effects, and the Glow plugin is a good way. However, there's a couple things you should know before you dive in. One is it only comes with the After Effects Professional version, so if you have the standard version, unfortunately you don't have access to it. Two, it creates two entirely different looks. One, it changes the pixels inside an image to create a hot glowing look from a full frame image. And two, one that adds an aura or halo around the outside of an image, more appropriate for things that have an alpha channel like logos or text. Now, how you get these two different looks from one plugin is not entirely obvious, so let's dive in and I'll show you how. First, let's create that glow look that works on full frame footage and glows the pixels inside of an image, like this vintage race car here. This is the default look that the glow plugin creates. So I'll select my layer and select Effect, Stylize, glow. And immediately I get this really hot blown out look, particularly from the bright areas. Well, let me run through the parameters of the Glow plugin so you get a better feel of how you can tweak this look to get something maybe closer to what you had in mind. Glow threshold determines which pixels get glowed. The higher the threshold, only the brightest pixels will get glowed, as you see here. Lower threshold, the more pixels will get glowed, to the point where the entire image is going to get glowed out here. If you have an image that's pretty dark, you may need to really reduce the glow threshold. If you have an image that has only some spectral highlights you want to really kick off with glow, you may want to increase the threshold. I'll put it here closer to the middle so we can see some of our other looks. Glow radius is how puffy the glow is, how nice and soft and blown out it is. Higher values create this much more ethereal, puffy look. But be warned, glow is not the fastest plugin in the world, so higher glow radius values will slow down your renders. Really low glow radius values create something that almost looks like a Xerox. You just have some interesting coloration to the pixels added back into the image as opposed to a real puffy look. And again, I'll put it here somewhere in the middle. Glow intensity is how bright or how intense the glow is. The more I crank it, the more intense or blown out the look. Take it down, the more subtle the glow look is. Maybe somewhere right in there just warms it up a little bit. This is before and after. Subtle look, but kind of a nice look. I'll put this back to one for now. The glow operator is probably easy to overlook, but it's really useful. It's essentially all the blending modes you're used to having in After Effects. The default is Add, which is the normal glow look. It adds the glowed pixels onto the values of the underlying image, creating these really hot blown out looks. But go ahead and play with some other looks, like Overlay can create some really interesting smoky moody look, for example. And you can try any of the other modes as well. For example, Screen is a less intense version of Add, which is a really bright, blown out look. Now, if my image has interesting colors in it to begin with, I will use original colors. That way, my glow is based on the image itself. If my image does not have interesting colors, or if I want my glowing effect to be of a different color than the colors in my image, then I'll use A and B colors. After you select that, the next few parameters come into play. Now, the default on color looping, the pattern of the glow colors, defaults to this triangle of A, B, A. I usually start with Sawtooth B to A. I find that's a nice default to work with. After you have that, go down and change the A color, your target for the glow. Let's say we're going to pick a hotter orange color instead of the yellows and blues that are inside this car. Click OK. And now I glow to this nice orange. And again, this is before and after. I also have control over where the glow is coming from on its way out to that orange color, so I can pick something different, like maybe this deep red here, and create, again, a little more interesting coloration to it. Knock the glow down a little bit, and create some alternate looks. Knock my threshold down a little bit, too. There we go. Now, there are some other options, such as color loops and different color looping patterns. I find they tend to create, I don't know, less subtle looks. I personally like the more elegant look of a simple B to A glow color effect. The A to B midpoint is useful, though, because it's kind of like your gamma for your glow colors. You can go ahead and change a little bit of just how much your color is blooming out between the A and B colors. That's worth tweaking to create a different look to it.